Hey, Low Winners, this is Lodi6 here with another video, and we're gonna talk about porn. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you, are you enthused? <laughs> I'm not really familiar with that area. Neither am I, to be fair, but. <laughs> get into this topic because I think it's really really interesting because China's got such a different attitude towards pornography and actually what kind of sparked this idea was because I've always covered like what China bans and you have to admit Vivi recently China has been banning stuff left and right like compared to when uh, when we when I first moved to China you've always been there I almost said when you first moved to China compared to why when I first moved to China more and more things have been blocked, more and more things have been censored, more and more things have been, uh, you know, kind of forbidden to talk about. Hey, look, it's that meme dog. He's pretty cute. Um, you know, and all that kind of stuff has been changing quite a bit. So uh, the attitude towards pornography has never really changed. It's always been illegal, particularly since 1997 when the Chinese government kind of banned any lewd acts. And that was kind of like covering anything even in writing, in film, and pictures, on the internet, anything like that. So it's actually super heavily punished, but not so much to consume. So I was going to ask you this. Do Chinese guys look at porn? Oh, of course. Okay, you say of course, but how do they get it if it's illegal? They have some like special website can get in there and then download it. Right, so from what I've heard from my Chinese friends is that one website will go up, another will go down, right? They pop up, they make different URLs all the time. They'll maybe throw a number in one of them or change the dot biz. They to... even have some B called BBS. Uh -huh. Forums. Like those forms and they just like, you need to go to the password and then if you're the member of it and then like they will upload or maybe send it to your thing and blah blah. Right, so that's like a it's like a subscription service and people share. It's like the old school, old school internet basically. And I think anything goes on those forums because it's already illegal. So I bet I'm assuming you can find some pretty weird stuff. But wouldn't you say Chinese guys prefer Japanese porn? I I don't know. I think white girls, they prefer white girls. See, Japanese girl. It's like, I don't know. Like, I, I know a bunch of the, like when we're in college and stuff, I know a bunch of my um, classmates, they do watch. Um, the most often easier resource is Japanese, but a lot of white girls think they, they like it too. So I don't really? Know. So, out of interest, and this is, can't re represent the whole public, but I asked three of my friends who obviously didn't want to talk about this on camera uh -huh. and they said that although they want to like to watch European or, or Western porn, they prefer watching Japanese porn because it's more realistic to them in terms of what they'll potentially do in real life. I do hear like as they said it's too gross and too rough sometimes. Oh, the Japanese stuff. No, the... the oh, the, the white stuff. I got gotcha. you. Anyway. We're not talking about preferences in porn. We're actually talking about what China just banned. And China just put something in the porn category. And I find this freaking hilarious, absolutely hilarious, because just like the whole Winnie the Pooh thing and all this other kind of stuff, they just completely missed the boat on what is actually happening here. You know what ASMR is? Yeah, you showed me about that before. So we've watched some ASMR videos kind of as a joke, and there is this really, really amazing one. Remember the fairy man? Yeah, it's surprisingly people can fall asleep with that. Right. That creeps so, me a little bit. A quick thing is ASMR is basically when that you get that tingly feeling in your neck or in your body when somebody is either whispering or a certain sound triggers you, you feel really relaxed. And it puts you into almost like a dreamlike state, really relaxed state. And people watch these videos uh, and find channels that kind of put them in that state so they can go to sleep, right? Now, there's ones that, you know, focus on ear cleanings or doing your nails or uh, 
you know, fantasy ones, like maybe time travel and going to space and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, a lot of them have, you know, very good looking girls or good looking men. And a lot of people will follow these channels. Now for a while, these channels have been incredibly popular. I'd say they're kind of dying down in terms of popularity. You saw ASMR, ASMR channels popping up everywhere. And they buy a high quality microphone, turn up the sensitivity, go to a quiet room and just whisper in their ears. Did you just get ASMR? No, it's itchy. Well, you better not get ASMR because that's illegal. So China just put ASMR videos into the same category as pornography or obscene content. So production of ASMR, which just started becoming popular in China, is now banned and faces similar punishment to someone producing pornography. And for example, I want to give you an example. If someone produces pornography in mainland China, they can face up to like 12 years in prison, if not worse, like per thing they make. So a lot of people don't make domestic porn, but they do consume it, right? That is just so weird to me because like, I think from the government perspective, I'm not really sure is that they, because they can like, you know, Chinese people, Chinese business industry, they can uh, actually use that, use those pretty girls to talk about dirty things. Right. I guess they can use that. But the thing is, in the general, if people want to use that as a small sleep method, I didn't see anything like illegal about it. Right. I, I've always been curious about this because like, I understand a one party state, you want to block things like free speech. You want to block things that, uh, you know, are, are against the government, right? But what, when has porn ever been like that? You know what I mean? And when every, pretty much every Chinese male I've ever met consumes porn in some form or another. They do. They it do. seems very strange that the government would be so strict about porn. You know what I mean? I mean, like, it is a bad thing to watch. But the thing is, like, people still consume it. Like, you know, just... I mean, I understand there's a lot of arguments against pornography. For sure, and I'm not pro-pornography in any, any shape or form, but it is kind of strange for, for a government to feel so passionately about it to the point where you're blocking falling asleep whisper videos. Mm -hmm. You know what That's I mean? That's just a bit weird. And it's like... But probably there's... I'm not sure we never heard of any news yet by people actually using the this form to do dirty language or something. Right, I haven't seen that. Like, I'm sure I, it exists. I, I'm sure this kind can be blocked. But, I mean, like, the whole, if you try to, because of that, block the whole thing, I don't, I don't know. I know. It it's a bit it's, weird. It's super weird. But, like I said, it's a recent thing. I'm consistently seeing more and more stuff get blocked and taken down in this knee-jerk reaction in order to preserve society. I wonder, is that because of the government or the, the, the you know, the department just don't want to think, said, oh, this is oh, a problem, yeah. just block the whole thing. I actually think that might be what it is, because usually it's, there's not a real thought process behind a lot of these bands, it's just like, bam, right? Yeah, just, and I wanted to give people an update on something. Remember how gung-ho they were about banning hip-hop and rap? Yeah. They took down the rap of China show like it was a big deal. Yeah, Guess what's back thing. for season two? <laughs> the rap of China, literally premiering, promoted by the government again. Yeah. And it's just this weird kind of, maybe they're like, wait a minute. And then a bunch of people are saying like, Simo, you're a liar, they wasn't banned. Right, that's, that's how it works, and it was severely banned and severely punished. They banned it, it doesn't work, and then they show up again. <laughs> what can we do? We and didn't do a false news. You know what's funny is that they targeted MC Hot Dog, who's from Taiwan, to be the, uh, the bad influence of this hip-hop spread, right? Well, now he's the host. His song is kind of <laughs> nasty though. Yeah, but he's now the host of season two. Slap on the face. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't joke. understand. You so, don't need to, uh, whoever announced that thing, it's just a big slap on his face. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> so, in general, pornography is illegal, but still consumed. ASMR is banned. Hip hop's back. We'll keep you informed as to what gets banned and what comes back in China because it's absolutely insane you never know what's gonna happen and uh, I wanted to say if you want to see more stuff like this but the stuff I can't talk about on camera go to patreon.com slash lao86 give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment down below what do you think about porn and uh, because this video is demonetized we really appreciate the people that actually supported us so thank you very much lovers I want to say thank you so much lovers I'll catch you on the next one just to let you know, the Chabador t-shirts are still being sold. Show the world how little you care. Chabador basically means half-assed or 
just okay, or kind of the equivalent of the English ish. This phrase in Chinese society is kind of tantamount to how everything works there. So if you're a fan of the channel, Lao86, go out there and show the world. Chabadoa. Show everyone that you gave it your half. That you're almost there. There's only a few days left on this campaign, so make sure you get your shirt today and support the channel. Enjoy!